Hello guys, how you doing? Uh, we are going to be checking out the NES Classic. Uh, this is one that's been hacked to add a bunch of get different games, and we're going to test to see how playable it is. There's a lot of uh, people saying it has a lot of input lag. I'm um, very sensitive in input, input lag, so uh, I think it's also that people are playing on a you know a large screen, 60 inches or or whatnot. We're pl we're playing today on my uh, I have a little. Uh, well, my two my my two computer monitors are like one millisecond BenQ monitor. So, uh, I've played it before, and I felt like there isn't that much lag added. Um, but you know, I think it's also like I said earlier that it's people's screens. Um, let me see. Get rid of that. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see what game we want to play. Shadow the Ninja, we have Shatterhand, Snake Rider Roll. Uh, I guess we can start with um, Splatterhouse. There was a, I found an MMC3 hack of this. Um, it should be pretty good. Hey, Shudix, how you doing? Uh, I had a Journey to Silius on here. We can check out. Uh, Yoshi's Cookie is always a lot of fun. Zombie Nation we'll check out in a little bit. Actually, I can turn the music on during this part. Because we're, uh. I don't want to play this main screen. If you play the. If, you, if I play this, uh, music will probably be muted when I export it to YouTube, so. Uh, Balloon Fight, Batman. So I put, I put like 80 something games on here. Battletoads is new, Blades of Steel is new, Blaster Master is new, Bucky O'Hare is new. Uh, snake rack and roll. Yeah, we can check that out. Oh, I'm glad you voted. Thank you, man. Dracula's Curse three. I added Con the original Contra. Uh, Dragon Spirit, Ducktales two, Gremlins two. Couldn't find a better cover. Gun Knack. We'll check out. Journey Silius. We'll check out. Kickle Cubicle probably. Kiwi Craze is a lot of fun. Little Samson I added. I think I added, yeah, I added Life Force too. And Magical Door Pie. This is the English translation because the uh, the U.S. Crimes Conquest uh, had a lot uh, stripped from it. Manic Mansion I added. Because I thought Manic Mansion would be a lot of fun to use the save state feature. That way uh, you can continue your game. I added all the other Mega Mans. Uh, Sometimes, because like I... I kept the original 30. The games that are uh, added, they don't. They try to put themselves in alphabetically, but some of these, like if you look, it says just Mega Man and Mega Man 3 and then Mega Man again. Some of these, the titles don't transfer over correctly, so it's out of order. Now, if I were to remove the original 30 and add them back, I've been told I would get more space. Um, and it would be completely correct with the alphabetical, you know, being Mega Man 2, 1, and then 2, and then 3, etc. But Mega Man 2's here. He's just at the end for some reason. Oh, it's probably because look at the title. It's all like caps and TM. So I can try fixing that. I'll try fixing that next time I uh, update the games. Uh, I think I added Xanic. Metal Storm. Metal Finey Fight. New Ghostbusters 2. If you guys haven't seen this game, this is like one of my favorite like Famicom titles. It's a shame. Our Ghostbusters that we got here, it was such crap. I added... Uh, I think two and three. Over Horizon's an amazing shmup. Panic Restaurant's fun. Power Blade. I was tempted to remove the original 30 just so I could get my Titans back. I see Prime 2 is so good. Summer Carnival. Okay, so I need to mention this and I need to update my original FAQ uh, on doing this. Summer, Summer Carnival, the ROM. Here, let me type it out. It had... It had a dash, and it ha well, dash is fine. It had this, like a tilde, like it had a non-recognized sy uh, symbol in it, like uh, like a quote or a single like uh, apostrophe, and that ended up breaking the system. So when you when you do transfer ROMs over, you want to make sure it's a very clean title. So I ended up just renaming it just Reka, just so I knew I know the. I, I could figure out there was no problem with it because the ROM is supported. It's I believe it, uh, Summer Carnival '92 Reka is a MMC3, which is supported by the NES. 
Hey, Watson Bunk, how you doing? What's R.A.P.? No, don't don't say rip in my channel. That makes me think that the stream died. I freaked out for a second. I put um, Sanrio Pon Pon Valley on here, which is pretty cool. Uh, Shatter Ninja, killer game. Shatter Hand, Snake Rider and Roll. Splatter House, which we'll probably start with. Maybe I didn't put Xanic. I goofed. I put Abadox in here. I'll add Xanic though. Xanic's like one of my favorite. Like that was one of my first mups. That and Rapture for DOS. Or yeah, Rapture. Or Raptor. Not Rapture. You hackers don't have light gun games. Okay, buddy. Alright, let's start with something I know. Sorry. So this isn't the translated version. Uh, I ended up not doing that version uh, because it wouldn't transfer over. Unfortunately. But it still uses English. So you guys can see it, it's playing pretty fine. Uh, the scrolling's nice and smooth. Input seems to be fine. Now, I wouldn't go out and pay the above the MSRP that people are paying. Um, but when this, you know, this system eventually becomes available for 60 bucks, I would say it's it's definitely worth picking up. Now that we can hack it. Just to confirm you guys are hearing game audio because uh, my capture was acting up earlier and it wasn't transferring over. You have a hamburger right there, so you can basically just get damaged and it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, so I don't think this has like a really bright strobe flashing that the original system has, and that's to avoid um, any kind of epilepsy things. Because there's like a fading, there's a fading thing in the background going on. If you look out the windows. It looks a little bit different. <laughs> I 
We want to continually collect health because uh, as you get more and more health, you'll build up your health bar in the top left. Now, if you uh, if you continue, you should keep it. But if you start from a password, uh, I think you start at the very bare minimum health. There is a, uh, a cheat on this game. I'm getting wrecked. Uh, if you pick up, pick up the player two control uh, controller and hit A, B, select, and start all at the same time, it will refill your health. But I don't have another. Uh, I don't have another Wii controller. Word, yeah, I do have a Splatterhouse PCB coming in, which I'm really looking forward to. Got it for a good deal. How you doing, uh, Evan? Dude, I'm getting wrecked. That's right, the next stage has uh, trash cans, which I can get my health back from. If you hold down on uh, when you land on a trash can, you get health. If you hold up, you get a shotgun. Ah, getting wrecked. Ah. Dang it. Continuing. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like I saved my, my health stayed. This rat uh, boss is like the first thing that's difficult in this game. You just have to hit him once, too. There we go. I could have got a shotgun. That's right. You definitely want a shotgun for the uh, next boss, though. That's coming up here. Not this one, the next one. <laughs> Although it still helps with this one.
Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of good movie movie stuff in here. I really wish this would have been uh, available for the U.S. Jeez. I used to speedrun this game. Basically forgot everything. Five shots for this. You can only shoot these guys when they're dipping down. Nice. You can get the goat trapped in the corner. There we go. Well, there's like a certain distance where he'll just it'll be perfect. Hey, Aquas. Thanks to the host, Hogwarts. Yeah, so you definitely want a shotgun for this guy. So normally you uh, walk right to continue, uh, but you get to a secret level if you go into this transponder. Oh yeah, see, they don't do the flashing. Normally that's a strobe. Weird, normally there's a uh, hidden item up there. Yeah, normally it's a bl it's just a, like a, a one frame per second strobe flash. Which is probably like an epilep epilepsy warning now. So, uh, this is where you get the first crystal ball of two crystal balls. Um, you can hit a button to fart. There you go. <laughs> and if you do it a couple times, she'll say you're, you're really rude.
Uh, it's a part of the NES Classic, that's why. It's a safety feature. I usually need my health through here, so picked it up. Dude, I am out of practice on this game. So this uh, shark part pattern is always the same. It doesn't seem like there's that much lag. That's what's uh, really nice about it, Infinite Nacho. I don't have too much experience running emulators on, uh, or playing on emulators. But you're gonna have the lag of the em emulator, you're gonna have the lag of the controller, and the lag output if you're not using a CRT. This is just the uh, the lag of the the display. Since there's no added lag in between uh, the console that I've noticed, anyways. What game do you guys want to see next? Oh man. If I have it on here, I'll uh, play it. Jeez. It's going to be close on the boss. Health wise. Oh crap, I forgot that you can stand on the top of that and get through this without getting hit. Normally there's a health rate there too, a health spawn. I didn't put Pan a Dinosaur on here, so... <laughs> Won't be playing that. Alright, I can only get hit four times.
Uh oh. No! Ugh, oh, such a noob. Oh, thank God. I normally be this w without dying. You can fall through here and then you start at the beginning. It's easy to get knocked back uh, here with the shotgun. So just make note of that. stage. You want to fall here and not move right to get to the second crystal. Go in this door. Otherwise you get captured by that guy and he puts you in the uh, whatever that thing is. That's a lot easier with a shotgun, so I go for it. Now, if you uh, if you didn't get the first crystal, you could, there's a hidden door. It's either here or, or right before the the next screen's door. That will take you back to the first stage, and then put drop you back into this, so you can still get the best ending of the game. You have to love all these seductive poses. <laughs> yeah, normally instead of uh, that background fading in and out, it's uh, flashing, like really bright. Hey, Night Spinner, how you doing? Don't want to fall here. I've probably seen it. Did 
These guys pick you up and try to drop you down the pit. You can get a health refill here. Just by hitting up. I think they might have taken the... Oh. There's also a room where you can uh, go and use the toilet. This is weird. The... Hey, nice burner. One second. Um, so normally he like flashes like on and off when he's moving around, and because of the filter, uh, the anti like f strobing filter that's on this built into the system, it's looking weird. Like yeah, I can barely see him when he's doing this little pattern right here. That's really weird. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing. This guy takes like 30 something hits. <laughs> or 18 hits, I think is exact. We might come back to this and actually do a speed run. Now that I've gone through it once, because continuing is not okay. This is always the RIP bitrate stage, too. Yeah, it's unfortunately long. Yeah, Night Spinner, I'm using a, uh, a hacked classic. I did a mini little tutorial on how to do it uh, in my highlights. <laughs> did Smups win, Cathode? I was busy setting this up. I can do Smups after this. Had all the brawlers from the 80s and 90s? Nice. What uh, arcade did you go to, Night Sprinter? The uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, pinball game is good. Okay, I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to add it on Facebook. I like to add all the barcades that I can find. I can just see what they're doing. We should get the two added scenes. And then that is the intro to the normal Splatterhouse game. We'll go back to the main menu. No! <laughs> don't want that music on there so I don't get muted.
Alright, what's next? I want to learn Vice Project Doom. Oh look, it's like misspelled. <laughs> and uh, these sold really well, they just sold out everywhere. I think like, I don't know if it's Nintendo always like not making enough on purpose to increase, uh, lower the supply to increase demand. Because when they do become fully available, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna sell a lot. I'll get rid of this, so we can make a save state if we wanted that. We'll just do it just to show. So I made a save state of the ending, uh, and I can delete it as well. Well, we'll load it up so you can see that it works. Zombie Nation. Uh, I need to play more. I need to play more of both of these. I want to learn Battletoads next to speedrun. And got you a uh, Night Sprinter to full blown arcade. Fuck your hair is like the best music. Dragon Spirit would be fun. Gun neck. Gun neck's fun until you get to like stage five or six and then it just gets boring. Because it's a really long game. Journey to Celius would be fun. Although I'm not as good as I used to be at this game. Uh, let's do, um. Let's do Over Horizon. Oh, actually, let's play this for a little bit. And this is the plus version, which fixes, like, the color palette. They have, like, for some reason, they have Winston Blue. Now, either one of your guys can get hit by a ghost. You just have to be careful not to walk either one into a, a ghost. I think it's a one hit, one kill. Really wish that they would have made this two player. Ah, oh, that was dumb.
Ah. Hogan Doink, thanks for the follow. I think there's like a couple hidden things in this game. Like a newspaper or something you can get, but you can't do anything with it. These cards start uh, moving around up here, too. I have to get these guys. What's up, Ayasa? Uh, we're playing an NES Classic. We're playing uh, New Ghostbusters 2, which is a uh, Japan and Famicom only title. And it's a really good Ghostbusters game. But we're basically just playing a hacked uh, NES Classic and uh, seeing how it plays. So far, it's really well. in the very beginning of the level.
Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Ah! Think you have the cart? You gotta play it. It's a black cart, color wise. I've been wanting to get one for a while. As you can see, the level designs are really good. Uh, I don't think it has Saber Wolf on here. I didn't put it on there. But the thing is, if it's a if it's a compatible mapper, I could add it. have it. Nice. Bring it out one night. I want to play it. <laughs> a lot of things you can get through walls and it's a lot safer. You have to wait for the other guy that you picked uh, to go over and ca capture it, though. Which sometimes he can't figure out. Oh, sweet. Hard. Why wouldn't you play this? Or at least give it a try.
Come on, runner, dude. There we go. You assume it's movie trash? Well, then why be why even buy it in the first place? But yeah, most of these HAL license games are horrible. I don't remember how long this game is. I know I haven't beaten it yet. Nice. A dollar game would be nice. Yeah, I should have saw that coming. I didn't think it would go through walls. What's up, Antoine? How you doing? Oh, nice. What? Oh, that's not too far back. It looks like it is a limited amount of continues, though. Uh, we can, I can see if I have it. I don't think I do. I can't believe I just died twice from this dude. Uh, I'm not sure. I think... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's... I think if the same console runs 50 and 60 uh, hertz games, so... I think the specs are the same. Ghostbusters until I get actually better at the game. Uh, as long, Antoine, as long as it's the same, it can be played. If it can be played on EverDrive and it um, is a supported mapper, then yes, it will work on the, this console. Uh, let me look up my document that I had. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit more information and we'll go into uh, changing the games out so you guys can, can see.
Okay. So... So these are the supported mappers. If it's any, if the game is any of those mappers, then it will work uh, correctly. There's this there's this web page I go to to look at mappers and it's run off like the guy's like computer and it's like sometimes it's up sometimes it's not I always forget the name of it too Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So I'll answer your guys' questions here on whether stuff is supported or not. Yeah, boot god. the ones that you guys are asking. Yeah, so Mega Man 4, which I have on here, is a MMC3 ROM. So MMC3 supported, so it should work. Oh, sorry. Dang it. I hate when there's two songs going on at the same time. Apologize about that. Let me look up that specific game. Yeah, it should work fine. What were the ones that Warlock asked about? HVC C N ROM. Yeah, so it should work. We can. We can. So let's attack this whole thing again. 
we'll uh, fix that spelling error. Alright. So what you do, you wait for the power to go off. You hold reset. And you hit power. And then once you hear that it's recognized USB, you let go of the reset button. Now previously you have to install WinUSB, uh, which you do, um, which you do, which comes with uh, the actual loader. Here's a link to the loader again, and here's a link to the Reddit thread that has everything in it. So we have 75 games in there. I think I can fit more. So we'll add uh, the ones requested. Oh, there's an English translation too. Now, see how this has like a long file name? Um, I had some issue with uh, Rekka because of this, so I'll just rename it to just the, uh, the beginning of the name. So I'll just copy it to the desktop and then re rename it here. So it uh, it will give you an error if it's not if you're not able to add it. That's smart for it. Hmm, this one I guess. Well, that's the Super Famicom game. And I probably have the uh, Mega Man one too. The hack already here. Yeah, I'll play Kickle. I'll just play Kickle. Rockman. That might be under Rockman. Hey, rubber ducks. I don't think I added Blade Buster, too. That needs to be on here. Fix that Mega Man. Oh, we can't rename the Mega Man uh, 2 because it's a part of the original 30. 
Uh, this is the mic that I use for the console area. Uh, this is a lot nicer mic. This is a blue Yeti versus a blue Snowball. My voice is a lot deeper. Oh, some some baseball game, huh? Uh, we can look that up. I like baseball. There's a few of them. There's a red and a black label. That's what I don't understand. Which one? Which one would be? It would be. Both of them are final released games. If that has the ROM has the exclamation point, then it's a released ROM. Oh, we're out of music. Black. Okay. So this has an exclamation point and some weird characters, so we'll uh, we'll just uh, rename it. I know it can handle dash. Okay. So this is the error that you'll see. Uh, mapper uses Mapper 86. This mapper is not supported by the NES Mini, so that game is not compatible. There was a game you asked a while back too. Saber Wolf. Was that ZX Spectrum game? Was there an NES one as well? Yeah. Gunner, thank you so much uh, for the host. We're looking at the NS Classic, and we're adding a few games right now. Now, what was the misspelling? It was Vice Project Doom, wasn't it? Yeah. Project Doom. It's spelled correctly here. Huh. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just upload the games that we have now. Oh, I added, I tried um, Yumi Penguin on here, and it worked, but the the bottom menu was all weird. I forgot to try, um, look up, uh, Pizza Cats. So it's a HVC TL ROM. So yeah, that's not on here. 
of, for the supported mappers. That's too bad. I really wish it was. I wonder if the um I wonder if the English translation changes the mapper because uh, I have a US reproduction of it and I wonder what PCB that he used for a donor. I don't see any US uh, mapper support. Let's look at ROM hacks. Calling the cops. Oh no. Can I try the red version? Well, we already load. We're already loading the. Uh... I mean, I guess uh, if you really want me to. Oh, you're saying it's a, di a different mapper? That's right. Uh, we can try that. I'm sure, it's the same mapper though. Blood, thank you for the follow. Yeah, it's the same mapper, mapper 86. Okay, so let's look at the the newly the changed out um, Nintendo. game we added we added blade blusters we added rockman 4 yeah let's see that I have to change uh, the, my monitor, what input it's getting in. Just give me one second. Should be HDMI too.
There we go. I'm not good at any Mega Man game, so... I'm not guaranteeing anything. Oh, you're supposed to slide. <laughs> I'll keep this for uh, Jimmy Poopman's, not me. Now we're going to play for something finally good. Yeah, I have this on the 3DS as well. Now there is popping on the original, uh, the original game as well. I'm hearing it right now. I forgot which, uh, which power-ups are the good ones. It's not me. Okay, there's that weird th flashing thing going on, which uh, the FPS, the frames per second, take a big hit when that happens. Hmm. That might, that might make some games unplayable. Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> I think it's like, uh, I think it's crashing, like it's over uh, maximizing the CPU or the emulated CPU. Well, it's not meant to run, so... There we go. I forgot how to fight this guy. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, so you can. This is probably like the maximum that you can try to make this little console play, and it handles it kind of. But there's definitely like frame drops and flashing issues. Um, I'd say it's pretty playable though. I forgot what the good combo was. Oh yeah, I gotta turn my speed up too. There we go. Oh, I remember the secret now for that boss I just died to is uh, you have to turn your speed down really slow. Oh, I have a an NES. There's like a clone NES Advantage that uh, came out. Um, I have one of those coming in. It was like twenty two dollars. And it uses like generic Sanwa parts, and you can swap in uh, just like normal Sanwa. It works with the NES Classic. It has like a Wiimote type of connector, uh, and then you can use a uh, retro receiver by 8-bit, which I have, uh, to use it with an original Nintendo. Oh shit. Oof. That's a reset. Yeah, see, that's that's some weird stuff going on right there. Yeah, this game's really impressive for its time. Uh, yeah, I can link the stick. We'll do it after this game. Let me uh, try starting this run over. I have one friend that's buying it to uh, just use the shell and then put an NES advantage on the inside and then uh, use a combination of the boards available from the NES advantage and this system to make a Sanwa modded original Nintendo. Because the, the biggest pain is not um, like doing any pad hacks for the NES advantage. It's the height of the stick. It doesn't fit like a Sanwa in there easily. Uh, but also the uh, the mounting bracket and whatnot. So he's gonna use the shell from the new one to to make a really good NES advantage. And I'll let you guys know how that how that goes. It should work well. Oh crap! Still dead.
Dang it. Mm. Yeah, you have to. I forgot that you have to uh, change your speed before you go in there. There we go. Yeah, it's called Emio the Edge. Now, the very first version that they released, it was actually incompatible, uh, but they've re since released a version 2. So it looks just like the NES, NES Advantage. Uh, and then it has like generic Sanwa parts here and generic joystick. And then it has the branding over here in the left corner. Played this in forever. This is a fan made game called Blade Buster. It's a really good game. Kind of homage to a uh, Soldier series for the PC Engine. I wonder if you can turn that flashing thing off. Uh, we're gonna look in the menu after this to see if we can. Hey, Fish Hawk. Yeah, we have a bunch more games. All right, let's look in the menu. So there's a CRT filter which like adds scan lines and adds like uh, bleeding on the reds. 
It looks like crap, basically. And then there's a pixel perfect square by square. Uh, I, I play on the four by three, but I think I think this is all of the display options that are available. Uh, yeah, dang. So yeah, there's nothing. Scan lens looks great. Yeah, the CRT adds like shitty like composite artifacts as well. This will be a lot better with like an NES Advantage or like a Sanwa stick. Oh, good. I was going to say you want to kill those things at the same time uh, for that bonus. It's a huge bonus, and it's basically reset if you don't get it. There's a 2-minute and a 5-minute score attack mode on this game. Uh, you want to not hit the core too much. This popcorn is worth a lot, so you kind of want to, you know, milk it a little bit uh, on the 2-minute on the version. On the 5-minute version, you kind of want to kill it quickly because you want to be able to get it and beat the final boss. Or the, the end of the boss. Dang it. And like in the Soldier series, when you get hit, it takes you down a level. A uh, gun level first. Yeah, so it's really weird about the... Uh, Whatever kind of filter is going on for the strobing. Dang it. Ugh. And I'm not sure if you're given a bonus or not for having ships left over. You probably are. Uh, it looks like it wants you to kill it when it's at the very end. 
for the bonus. This is really impressive for a Nintendo. This game. The sprite size. Now what I wonder, I wonder if when I'm shooting stuff, if it's flashing white for damage. And I'm just not seeing it because of the uh, NES Classic. I thought stuff flashed white. I can see it a little bit there, yeah. Yeah, 4x3 looks nice. Alright, let's change games. I think we had a request for uh, Kickle Cubicle, so we'll check that out. played this in a while, I don't remember everything. I think you just gotta take care of the guys. Beautiful Fantasy Kingdom is now under the rule of the Wizard King. Okay. The ravaging palaces were hidden, and these islands were made to confine us. Please get back the palaces and revive the Fantasy Kingdom.
game would be fun to play through. Does anybody know how many uh, levels it has? So the ice eventually melts. Nice. What's up, Lord Squeak? How you doing? I love a good old puzzle game. Hmm. <laughs> I unfroze him. Okay, so the animals, for some reason, I can freeze, but I can't kick them and move them around. I have this, uh, I have this cart. I haven't played it that much, though. We'll beat Garden Land and then we'll move on.
Oh, they can't go on here. Uh, the input seems fine. Input lag and all that. As long as you play on like a nice, uh, you know, low lag or a screen with a gaming mode, it seems to be fine. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about input lag um, at the very beginning, but I think it's because they're trying to play on like a big 60 inch TV or something. Because this seems fine to me. And I'm really sensitive to input lag. And I'm playing on two gaming monitors, so. Now there is a thing uh, when like whenever the screen like a screen supposed to st uh, strobe on and off, um, the NES Classic does some like slowdown or some kind of filtering to make it not strobe like that, and that was a problem in the last game that we just played. Loading of games is pretty easy. We uh, we added a few games just earlier, just before this. What's up, Wolf House? How you doing? You can kind of see the uh, screen freeze I was talking about just there. I got a lot of points by not getting those popsicles, but I'm not really going for a score run. We're just checking out games. Also, you have to beat every... Huh. Every land on here. Uh, I ordered one day one from Target uh, for the MSRP, so I got it right away. It was open for a few, it was actually open for like a few days, uh, the pre-order. I think it was, or maybe it was a couple, couple hours, I don't know. My friend was hip to it, and he's like, if you want one of these, you need to order it right away. And he was right.
Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Keith Elwin at Stern. He has a lot of good ideas. And, uh, you know, he will have the tournament, the tournament player, you know, in mind. So I think we'll see a lot of positive things happen because of it. Did blew himself up. Okay, now that's a part of his attack. Uh, I'm not gonna get the NES Switch, at least not right away. I was kind of burnt by the Wii U. Uh, I bought the System for a Zelda game, and it's still not out. And I've had it since day one, the Wii U. So I'm pretty frustrated with that. I don't ever play my Wii U, Wii U either. But, we'll see. I'm a Nintendo fanboy, so if they have... If they come out with exclusives I have to have, then I'll probably eventually get one. Although, what I've been doing lately is just... Waiting for something to get affordable. Like, I just got a PS4 recently. Um... Oh, I can put a peg right here. That's right. You know, wait to... You don't have to get something when it's brand new. You're gonna pre-order it as soon as you can? Nice. I'm sure it will be the same thing where, uh, you know, they make a limited supply and it will sell out. And then you'll have to wait another six months so you can actually get one. to go right. Uh, I guess it, yeah, it can go over these posts. Alright. I think I got it. They always do, but the Wii, when they released the Wii, it was short. When they released the Wii U, it was short. When they released the 2DS went out of supply. Uh, the new 3DS went out of supply. The Wii U went out of supply. So, I mean, it's just like their track record. It's not a good strategy, you know, I think. But they end up selling a crap load of, you know, systems eventually. We'll see.
What's up, Kamish? Uh, you hack it by using a, a software. I have a, um, if you look at, I have a previous highlight in my videos of how to do it. A USB through Zadig, you installing WinUSB. You power this on by holding reset, and then hold reset and then hit power, and then it's uh, recognized by the computer, and then use a program to load the games on it. You flash it, and then you reset it, and then the games are there. All right, so let's move on. Uh, well, actually, we were pretty close to beating that part. can hold about 90 um, around 75 to 80 is the best bet because uh, you have to like, keep room for your save states once you get up to a higher amount of games you uh, you lose room for save states and the system crashes and it only supports the uh, the get the MMC the games that are originally the mappers for the games that are originally on the console so there's like a list of like eight different mappers it supports Nice. Yeah, Kmart is often a good place to go to if you have one local, because people don't think to go there. Was a boss fight? Cool. Yeah, you can add the box art. Yeah, the tool even has like a Google tool to be able to find the art. Uh, Nintendo K, there's actually a bunch of games uh, that I haven't been able to play. But I like a lot of Famicom titles, so... <laughs> Man, I would love to run Pepsi Man, but it'd be like a race, probably. And, uh, the Boyks already have the hypest Pepsi Man run ever. Fruitland. All right, so we'll change games. Let's see, what other games have we put on here for requests? Mighty Final Fight such a good game. Metal Storm is amazing. I need to learn how to play that. I 
Oh yeah, I want to play Over Horizon. So this is the HDMI, HDMI picture that you see out uh, unscaled, 720p. Oh really? I bet that looks amazing. If you uh, if you have any pictures, send it. I'll look at it. So this is like an R type type of uh, smup for the Famicom only, made by Hot B. It's a really cool game. You can shoot forward and backward. And you get different options, and you can pull them in. It's got big old gut monsters, <laughs> monsters for. Uh, the enemies or the bosses. on switching to homing by accident. Once we start this. Alright, Nintendo Gate will uh, check that out.
Thanks, Commission. Check it out in a minute. Stash Kid, thank you for the host. Gotta stop shooting so the drums will kick in. <laughs>
Come on. boss is really easy if you uh, put your options outside of the box. You just don't want to be in front of them, basically. Nice. Well, this is where the game starts to trip me up. Yeah. Because you have to hit these things to uh, progress through. Ah, oh, shit. I've died twice. I hadn't, I hadn't gotten hit once before this. Falling apart. You can tell how many lives you have uh, at the pause screen. There's one ship in the middle of the screen. It's hard to see. This is the background. There's the one ship. And also there's your score. They chose not to put the score on the main screen, which is kind of an interesting choice. I think it looks good. <laughs> Dude, they give you life and they take it away. It's so good. to experience some slowdown. There's a slowdown on the real console as well. Uh, okay. Dang.
Gonna play the best game for the console. Let me get some water, I'll be right back. I like how uh, Kropi's mom and, and uh, dad are like separated up there. Kropi's on the... is on one side, Kropi's dad, and Kropi's mom's over here. And there's like a duck up top. Uh, the duck, when the duck wins, like everybody is like happy and the duck's like, oh no, shaking his head no. This is a really fun two-player game if you guys uh, ever want to try something new. Fairy wants to get five good things. Yeah, it would either. What the hell? I have no idea what just happened. So the fairy either throws it on your side or throws it on the opposing side. I put the computer on hard. Normally they don't play this well. it. Oh, I knew they were going to let that go up. <laughs> so look up top. The duck's like, no, no, no. <laughs> top right corner. <laughs> it's a weak ass serve, Kuropi. Good save, though. The guy with the face, I don't know who this kid is. 
but on Smash Brothers, he's like the best player. I think his name's just Kid. Uh, not, uh, yes, not Smash Brothers, uh, Sanrio Smash Ball. <laughs> Kuropi's dad's so disappointed his son did not play volleyball and not football like a real man. This is probably true. <laughs> Like a real frog. What's up, Lucky Paw? Oh, come on, fairy. I'm gonna slam that shit. Not against me. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have put it on hard. Oh, that's gonna be way too far. <laughs> that's a pretty catchy game. Oh yeah, somebody requested snake rattle and roll. Okay, so you can't get hit by stuff. When you're in the water, there's like a Jaws thing. I know you can add segments to your body, but I don't remember how. Maybe that's how. benefits of having segments are. Maybe it's health? When I get hit, I'll lose a segment? Where the foot? I have to weigh a certain amount. Is that what this is? A scale? Or do I go in here? And I go in there. Huh. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Thanks, Aquas. Oh, it opened the door? Okay. Cool, cool. such a weird game and the controls are like not like laggy it's just I don't know the rare this and Battletoads both have like 
a sense of weirdness to the controls, like a, like gliding or something. Snoop. Oh, the water pushes you down because of its going downhill. Interesting. Opposite color isn't giving you any health. Brown ones are universal, same color as well. Okay. Hmm. Do I need to get more segments so I can jump higher or something? Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Taco, you should play this game sometime on air. I've never seen you uh, play this. It'd be good to see somebody good at it. Make a jump from the bottom right green square. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> the controls are so crazy on this. Uh, this is Snake Rider Roll for the Nintendo. It's made by Rare, the same creators of uh, Battletoads. Killer Instinct. It's got really weird controls. Cause of the, it's like it's wanting diagonals inputs. Uh, 
these. Oh, it probably has to ring the bell. Dang it. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, did that take away a segment? Because I ate the wrong color? Huh. Oh my gosh, these controls. Probably is fine once you get used to it, but right now it's a real pain in the butt. Left goes like diagonal, up and left. There's like a lot of like water and ice phys physics going on. Yeah. Oh, okay. When your tail flashes, you know you have enough. Nice. That, that killed me? <laughs> okay. Reverse controls? Really? <laughs> All right, I'll have to give that a uh, to give that game another go some other time. Oh yeah, Zombie Nation and Abadox. Yeah, you should beat it.
I wanted to try the Nintendo 64 thing again. Let me see if I can get that going. I'll give it one more try. And if it doesn't work, then uh, I'm gonna switch over to probably switch over to play some uh, Mushi Masama. Right back, guys. I'm just gonna try to set up the capture. <laughs> 